Hey guys, so it has been a while since I have done anything with my GTEC A30. Um, and I'm printing up a bunch of these. Oh, these things here for some nurses and doctors I know of. And uh, one of the problems I have is when I turn on the GTEC, my screen is blank. Uh, I had the same problem come up with the E180 uh, some time ago. So I'm going to see if when I open this up, if, it's, if this screen has its own, was it the micro SD card? This is the one that fits on the side of the unit. I'm going to see if it has one on the screen like the E180 did. And if it does, I'm going to see if I can reset it uh, the same way it did on the 180. So let me go ahead and get into this thing and let's find out what it's got. Okay, so I removed all the screws from underneath. And now got this opened up. I was hoping it would slide off the base, but it didn't. So now I gotta go a little bit deeper into it and figure out how to get to that. Hope I didn't strip out the screw. There we go. Now, as you can see, I still have the power turned on to it, which is probably a huge no no, but we'll see. So now I'm going to remove the power supply, hopefully. Okay, now I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to point at it. I can't really see the screen that good. Right there is the SD card I was talking about. The little micro SD card. So what I'm going to try with it turned on, as you can see the screen is still blank on it. Oh, I just powered it off. Let's power it back on. Now you watch the thing work all of a sudden on me. Okay, it's still a blank screen. I'm going to reach in here. I'm just going to take this SD card, click it so it's out, click it back in. Let's see if it resets. It did not reset. I was hoping it would. I'm going to remove it completely. And then reset. Well, let's see if I turn it off and turn it back on if it'll work right. Oh, it rebooted, didn't it? Let's get it back up here. Yes, it did. Uh, get it over here so you can see it. At least I got something on the screen. So let me just kind of put this power supply back in its place. Get it turned over the right way. And see what we got. There you can see we've got a splash screen. Looks like it's in Chinese. So let's see if we can get this fixed. And we go to the gear icon. That looks like language. English. Back in business. <laughs> so while it was powered on, I just plugged, pushed in on the SD card so that it would separate, you know, pop it out. 
pulled it out a little bit, popped it back in, powered it off, powered it back on, and it reset the screen. So now I can start using this printer for printing some of these, uh, some more of these little mask ear loop thingy watches for <laughs> for my friends and uh, get them going. I have uh, three really decent, uh, good sized printers printing this right now. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this. Just a quick little, I just wanted to do it while I was, do this video while I was uh, trying to fix it and share what I found. And it's not probably the cleanest, nicest way of doing something, but at least it worked. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw it back together and we'll be good to go. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.